What is tax deed investing? Well, stick around. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can turbocharge your financial future using this, okay? There are also some things you wanna be careful with. You don't wanna just go out and buy tax deeds willy-nilly. What I'm gonna show you is exactly how they work and how you and your family can benefit this. So stick around. Oh, matter of fact, I've got a little bonus for you. I'm gonna show you how to acquire a $250,000 property for pennies on the dollar. Think of it this way. Think about buying a $250,000 property and only paying like say, I don't know, 15 to $20,000 for it and owning it free and clear with no liens and encumbrances, including a mortgage. We're gonna cover all of that in this video. So stick around. Let's talk about the mechanics. First of all, back way up, what is a tax deed certificate? Okay, there are many terms out there and people interchange these all the time. Matter of fact, now that I'm doing this, I see that my thumbs are up and that's what you should do if you wanna get really good information. It's proven fact that if you don't subscribe and hit a thumbs up and ask a question, that none of this information will stick to you. You will actually lose this information, <laughs> not really. But thumbs up, make a comment if you have a comment. Okay, so let's differentiate between a tax lien certificate and a tax deed certificate. They're really two different sides of the same coin, heads or tails, 50% of the time, right? Well, whether the state is deed or lien will be about 50% of the time. You just, you know, you don't know. So there's, well, you will know. But in other words, about half of the states are liens and half of the states are deeds. So what do I mean by they're the two sides of the same coin? A tax lien certificate is the very beginning of the process. So that means a property owner has been delinquent one year. After one year, a tax lien state can sell the lien, but you don't get the property. You're not, you don't have access to the property. Whereas opposed to a tax deed, they've been delinquent on their property taxes for a minimum of four years, okay? So they've been delinquent for four years. They don't have a tax lien sale process. They wait for the fourth year. Then they have a sale and say, enough's enough. They've had all of these notifications for the last four years. We're gonna sell it because we need our property taxes. Why does the county need the property taxes? Well, you get some obvious things like school districts, then you've got you know police, fire department, hospitals, roads, parks and rec, city colleges, all those things. So the county's like, dude, we can't do this. They, I think some of them on the West Coast go, dude, they can't do this. We need our money. The state has set up the mechanism. So what you're not gonna get in a state is one county that sells the deed and sells the deed and the other county over here just sells whatever they feel like it. It's either or. Now there are a few exceptions to what I call a dual state that offer liens and deeds, but that's just a different mechanism for a different video. Matter of fact, that's a good reason to subscribe because you'll get those other videos when I record on those. So a tax deed certificate, understand whenever you're at a sale, a tax straight tax deed sale, and you put your hand up and you own that property for the back taxes, they've been delinquent a minimum of four years. Now, why do I keep bringing this up? Because ethically speaking, this is a great investment. You're not sneaking up on somebody and taking their property. They've been delinquent for four years. They've had multiple notifications. In fact, before the county sells the property at a tax deed sale, they have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that everybody has been notified on that property. Who's everybody? Well, if there's a mortgage on the property, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, City Corp, they have had to have been notified. Hey, property's being sold for back taxes. You don't do anything, your position is gone. IRS, they have to notify. If a property goes to sale and there's an IRS lien, understand you gotta make sure that the IRS has been notified but if the IRS has been notified, okay, they're also gonna be wiped out. So everybody's getting notified on this. What I'm trying to say is, if you felt that you were sneaking up on somebody and taking somebody's property to a couple of years of back taxes, you probably wouldn't go at this with the gusto that it needs. Because ethically speaking, you'd be, I'm just taking somebody's house, it's not true. Not true. They've had multiple occasions. I want you to think about this for a minute. 
what on planet earth, what debt can you have that you could not make any payments on it for four years and nothing happens? Because literally nothing happens. Let's be clear, okay? You would have to literally be living under a rock not to know that the property isn't accumulating back taxes on it. Again, certified letters, notifications, anybody out there they can get a hold of to say, somebody come in and make this happen. So ease your mind that you're not sneaking up on somebody through the back door. Here's another great thing about this investment strategy. Unlike foreclosures, okay, you're not getting a property where there's a recent bad event that caused this foreclosure on the property. The reason tax deeds aren't sold for four years is because the counties have calculated this, and it's just a weird anomaly that most people, if they suffer some type of a financial setback, can course correct in anywhere between two to four years. That's what they're at. Stop making your house payments. Stop making your car payments. Stop making your visa payment. They don't give you four years. The county is going, look, we want property ownership to be at the center core of our whole deal. I should say the states have been saying this. We don't want to be yanking people's property for nothing. So they have to be delinquent a long time before we go to this. But again, let's go back to the very beginning of this video. A tax lien certificate and a tax deed are kind of the same thing. It's just a function of when the county will allow you to participate. With a tax lien certificate, it's going to be at the very beginning. Okay, so in other words, as soon as they're late one year, they can collect their money, but you're not getting the property. Whereas a tax deed certificate, you're buying the property free and clear. Now, I want you to think about this, okay? I've got properties before that are worth ARB, after rehab value. These things are worth $250,000 and I'm picking up for thirty dollars and $40,000. For a fraction of the fair market value, I'm buying it fixing the property up for $60,000, $70,000, whatever the case is. Now I've got a quarter of a million dollar house, I'm kind of golden. I own the property free and clear. Now here's the best thing about it is I've got choices. I can rent the property out. I can sell it. Heck, I can even buy it with retirement money, okay? Think about what this would do to your retirement account. If you were to buy a property worth $250,000, for $30,000 in back taxes, put 70 into it, you own it for 100, okay? You own it free and clear for 100 grand. You've got built-in equity of 130,000 plus dollars. Not a bad way to turbocharge your retirement account or heck, just walking around chain. Let me see this, by show of hands, how many of you could use an extra $130,000 right now, I can't, I can't see you, so you put your hand down, but you know what I'm talking about. What is it that you need to make financial independence for you and your family? This could be an avenue from you. I've been teaching people how to do this exact same strategy, but there's things you gotta look at. Okay, first of all, what states offer tax deed? Make sure it's a tax deed state. So in other words, the sale that you're going to offers the property up for the delinquent taxes. What are the rules of those sales? When is the money owed on those properties? Number one, that's so important. Where, you know what, when did I get this money? If I say, hey, I want it, they say, when is the money due? It's due today, it's due right now, it's due at four o'clock. Heck, you can take it to the end of the week. Know what the procedures are there. But the most important thing is know the property. There is a mountain of research that you wanna do before you buy that property. First of all, is it in the right location? Is the ARV, in this case, worth $240,000, $230,000 if I fix it up? Look, you're not going to be able to get in these properties. Nobody's handing you the keys and go take a look at all these properties and tell us what you think. At best, you're going to be able to do a drive-by, take a picture of that property, and make some hard guess. That's why that you're willing to get it with so much equity involved in the property. All of these are factors in order to make an educated, and powerful decision to help you become financially independent. Look, if this makes sense to you, then this is really gonna make sense to you. I've got a brand new course that'll show you how to buy a tax deed certificate anywhere in the country or in the comfort of your own home. Click the link down below. I just put this together. It's higginsmethod.com. And I'll go in there and explain in so much more detail than I was able to get into here today on how you and your family can take this to another level. So level up. This is Sean Higgins saying God bless and good luck.